Hi guys, and welcome to another 10 Minute Teach with Mr. A. Today, we are going to answer the question, what are square numbers? So first up, I just want to draw your attention to this little calculation over on the left. Now, three times three, it's quite an interesting one because obviously you're times in the number by itself, but I just want to show you a little something. So if we did times three by three, you could actually draw it out as an array, so that's three, and we'll do times by three as well. And what's really interesting with that is that you can see the answer in your array. So it's one, two, three, there's one lot of three, four, five, six, there's two lots of three, seven, eight, nine. For the answer of nine. Now we call that a square number and it's really easy to see why it's called a square number because actually if you draw it out in your array it makes a perfect square. So they're called square numbers and it's simply when you times a number by itself. So we could actually say that three times three is three squared and this little symbol here is what you put to indicate that it's times by itself. So it's three times by three. So let's uh, have another go at another example. So I'm going to choose six squared. Okay, so let's make that easy for ourselves and write it out as a calculation as well. So we can say it is six times six. And let's see what that equals. Well, I'm going to use my little diagram that we used earlier to help. Let's have a go then. So, hmm, one lot of six, three, four, five, six. You can also use counters for this, just to make it a little easier for yourself if you wanted to. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's two lots of six. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's three lots of six. If I was doing three times six, one, two, three, four, five, six. There's four lots of six. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's five lots of six. And here we go with our final one. And what you see start to happen is that we actually begin to form a square. So there's my six lots of six. Okay, so let's draw in our square just to make it really, really clear. And you can draw out all your square numbers. And as you can imagine, as you get to 12 times 12 or 12 squared, it starts to become rather large when you draw it out as a diagram. So let's have a look. There you are. So there is our six squared and six sixes are 36. So let's draw in our answer there. 36. There we are. So 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36. If you use the skip counting song, I'll put a link in the description below. It makes it really easy to see. Six sixes are 36. Let's have a go at one more, shall we? And I'm going to have a go at eight squared. So here we are. So let's do eight squared, which equals eight times eight, which equals, ooh, so let's have a little go at drawing this one out, right then. So here we are, so let's go. One, two, five, six, seven, eight. That's two eights. There's three eights. Four eights, five eights, six eights, seven eights, and finally we have our eight eights. So, as you can see, just by going up two more numbers multiplied by itself the squares begin to get absolutely huge so and it just continues as you go through your times tables and the main thing to remember 
is that that square number is called a square number because if you draw it out as an array, it actually makes a square. Okay. So let's use our times table song then. So 8, 16, 24, 32, and 40, 48, 56, 64. So it is 64. And I like to remember this one. I ate and I ate till I was sick on the floor, 64. But there you go, there you have it. There's your square numbers. Have a go at drawing some out at home as well. But don't forget that you need the little symbol to say that you times a number by itself and it makes that perfect square when you draw it out as an array. Okay, if that's helped you out today, then please let me know in the comments below. If you have any videos that you'd like me to do in future, please let me know as well. And until next time, guys, class dismissed.